God knows what's really and truly on the inside. And I don't know what's on the inside of Kanye West, but why do I have trouble just applauding him? Because he made a bold statement and said, Jesus Christ is God and he's my God. And I won't do anything anymore without asking Jesus Christ for help and guidance because Jesus is my Savior, my Lord, and my Savior. He said that boldly and plainly. I don't know that God will ever look at sin and say, well, you know, your sin wasn't real bad, so you're okay. All sin cost him the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on Calvary. Jesus died for the sins of us, period. Not for the bad sins. Sin separates from God. He died for all of us sinners and all of the sins we could ever commit, even real sins, not your little Christian sins. I'm sorry, I, I don't even know how to magnify that without sounding stupider than I already sound. He might uh, mess up, you know, this might be temporary. I mean, he, after all, he's got all the money he'd probably need. So this could just be a temporary thing here. And if I actually applaud him and say, good for God, yay. And then he winds up right back in debauchery in a year with 15 women in his room all the time. Well, don't I look like a fool because I said, way to go, God, yay. And then he goes right back into it. So, the, so what I'll do is I just won't say anything in case he slips up. If that's the way I treat you and you treat me, we're never going to get a pat on the back and an attaboy and a kudo and a hang in there and try again because, well, I don't know if you've ever returned to your vomit, but I have. That's, what, that's the way the Bible describes going back into a life of sin. As the dog returns to its vomit and the pig returns to wallowing in the mud, that's me. You, you might be one of those really, really squeaky clean ones that won. Well, well, when you repented of something you were doing and you said, I'm sorry, God, and I'm never going to do it again. You might be one of those people that did it. I mean, you just said, I'm never going to do it again. And you did it. Not me. I'm one of those 700, seven times, 490 times. The disciples said, Lord, how, how often shall we forgive someone who sins against us? Seven times? Is that enough? And Jesus said, nah, seven times 70. You think he meant for them to count 490 times? And on the 491st time, you don't have to forgive them anymore. Or do you think he was just trying to exaggerate the point so we would understand? You just keep forgiving them because they're going to keep messing up. I've gone to God's God, I'm sorry. My lust, my lust. Man, I, I, you know, I, I go to church, I feel right, I get, I get it right in my heart. And I say, I'm, I'm going to quit lusting, I'm going to quit. And I mean it. And then, not you. I, I'm not talking about you now, I'm talking about me. It's just me. I'm sorry, I'm such a greedy, I'm sorry I lie to cover my mistakes. I'm never going to do that again. Unless, unless my wife finds out about that. Well, there's that. Oh, uh, God, just don't let her find out, okay? And then I won't have to lie. That's about how some of us live. Oh, come on, be honest about ourselves. So, so you think Kanye, I mean, good Lord, he's so filthy, stinking rich, and all of his connections were just in the rap debauchery. Kind of, how can he survive out there as a Christian when nobody even wants to? Who's going to buy his stuff as a Christian? How, how long will it take him to say, good Lord, I can make $100,000 as a Christian, or I can make $100 million out here? Who should I take? $100,000. I can't do that. I got to go to the hundred big. And then we're like, oh no, we applauded him. You said, good for him. We've applauded a lot of y'all and look at you. <laughs> be nice and have grace. His doctrine might be skewed because you know, how did he convert? Who converted him? 
wait a minute, he's out there having services and stuff and talking about Jesus and he never went to seminary? How do we know if they dig a hole in the ground and 500,000 people come want to be baptized? How's he going to be? What will he say? How will they baptize people? Blind leading the blind, falling into a ditch together because they're not theologically perfect. I'm, I'm going to tell all of you, e either God is looking at your heart and going to save you by your condition there toward him, or God is looking on all the external stuff and, and none of us have a chance. But I rest securely in the idea that God is looking on my heart and not on all of my particular actions and my verbal expressions and my exact theology because he himself said, man looks on the outward. He said that. He reinforced it, Old and New Testament. God looks on the heart. Man looks out here. Man judges you for what you say, what you do, how you act, who you talk to, where you've been, what you've done, what kind of crimes you've committed, what you express. But God knows what's really and truly on the inside. And I don't know what's on the inside of Kanye West, but why do I have trouble just applauding him? Because he made a bold statement and said, Jesus Christ is God. And he's my God. And I won't do anything anymore without asking Jesus Christ for help and guidance because Jesus is my Savior, my Lord, and my Savior. He said that boldly and plainly. Jesus Christ is my God. Yeah, but do you know how he's still living? I don't. I don't care. I wish some of us would just tell somebody that we love Jesus instead of being so perfect in the privacy of our homes and bedrooms. When's the last time you wanted to tell somebody publicly that you had decided to follow Jesus? Would you give up the possibility of a $3 billion company just to tell people you've decided to follow Jesus? Have you ever told a co-worker? Don't hold any hands up. This is just me rambling stuff. Have you even invited anybody to church? Have you suggested to anyone that they should just follow the Lord and stop following their friends? Because he's doing that on a daily basis, no matter how his background is and how little he knows about theology. He's telling people to follow Jesus on a man. I don't know. I, I, I will tell you this. I think that Kanye West actually embodies I think he embodies exactly what Christ died to do. Jesus died to save us, imperfect sinners that we all are. He died to save us. And then here comes a man saying, I've been saved by Jesus. <laughs> and all he can get is people ducking and hiding and, and denominations refusing to even mention him. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a nobody here in a podunk town and five people are watching by live streaming. But I'm still going to go public and say, God bless you, Kanye West. I applaud you, sir, more than you can imagine. I applaud you for simply saying Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. What he is revealing to us is bad news for us. He is revealing to us that we fit the description of one of those churches in Revelation. We, we don't think we need anything else. Thank you, sir. Go back in your little billionaire circle of debauchery and immorality. We don't really need you representing the church. We have robes and crosses and medallions and candles and statues and pictures. And we don't really need you to think that you're representing. Yes, we do. We need you, sir. Because you're the very reason Jesus died so that men could simply turn to him instead of having to try to find a church that won't invite them to come in the first place.